finding a comfortable seated position to start. Maybe using a bolster or a cushion or a block and placing it underneath the sit bones. Finding a position where our knees and the hips can just relax. No tension at all in those areas. Shoulders are relaxed. Hands resting gently on the knees or on the thighs or in your lap. Finding a place where we can just settle down. Begin to catch our breath. Create an awareness of the body. Starting to lengthen the breaths. Maybe connecting with that Ujjayi breath. Just gently taking the bolster, the cushion or the block away from the sit bones, moving it to one side, coming straight into some gentle twists. So bringing the sole of the right foot on the mat, knee up in towards the chest, flexing the left foot to protect the knee. Keep hugging that knee in towards the chest. Maybe that's it and that's enough for today. Maybe crossing the left ankle, left heel over towards the hips. Trying to keep both sit bones grounded though. Bringing the right hand behind the spine, inhaling the left arm up and then exhale. Really pressing the elbow against the outer thigh. Starting to rotate towards the right hand side. Maybe gazing back towards the right arm, the right shoulder if the neck is okay. Inhale the head back to center and then exhale body back to center. Just very slowly, maybe just swinging around over towards the other side, keeping the feet wherever they are. Or maybe if this is a little bit challenging for you today, just bring the legs out in front and then crossing the legs over towards the other side. So this time, left sole of the foot flat against the mat, hugging the knee in towards the chest, flexing the bottom foot. Maybe crossing it over, heel towards the hip. Hugging the knee in towards the chest, keeping both sit bones grounded. Maybe the left hand can just rest gently on the mat. Chest opens, inhale, right arm up, and then exhale. Right elbow against the outside of that left thigh. Using it as leverage to twist over towards the left hand side. Gazing back towards the left shoulder. Every inhale, drawing the spine up a little longer, and exhale, twisting a little further. Keeping the shoulders relaxed, neck neutral. Inhale, bringing the head back to center, and then exhale, body back through center. Just letting the legs come back into the center, maybe shaking them out, releasing. Preparing to come up into our tabletop position. So onto all fours, making sure that the wrists are directly underneath the shoulders and knees stacked directly underneath the hips. Come straight through our cat and cow, so inhaling chest opens, sit bones up and then exhale rounding out through the spine, gaze back towards the belly button. Inhale chest opens, drawing the belly button down towards the mat and then exhale, arching out through the spine, gaze back towards the belly button. Just a few more rounds, moving with your own breath, maybe closing the eyes. Really moving through all vertebrae of the spine, bringing some movement into the spine. Starting to stretch out through the shoulders, the chest, the waist. Connecting every single movement with the breath. Coming back through center when you finish the three rounds. Maybe shaking the hips out. Otherwise, on the next inhale, we're raising the right leg up, keeping the back foot flexed, back heel pressing towards the back wall. Gazing down at the mat in front, keeping gaze soft, neck soft. Pulling up through the core, drawing the belly button back towards the spine. Exhale, we can just place the sole of the foot down into the mat, coming straight through a little side plank. It's so just coming to an easy variation today, making sure that the left arm is directly underneath the shoulder 
pressing down through the fingers to protect the wrists. Maybe turning the left shin out to a 90 degree angle. Just increase the surface area and the foundation, making it easier to balance. Maybe raising the top arm up, drawing that right shoulder back, chest opens up, stacking the hips up into a little side plank. Coming back through center when you're ready, maybe shaking it out, preparing for the other side. So this time inhale, left leg up, making sure that the leg's not raising up too high, flexing the back foot, straight line from the crown of the head to the back heel, engaging the core, drawing that belly button back towards the spine, protecting the lower back. Gently placing the sole of the foot down onto the mat. Right knee's directed directly underneath the right hip. Maybe placing the left hand on the hip. Again, maybe opening the shin out to help with the balance. Spreading out through those fingers, maybe reaching that top arm up, drawing the left shoulder back, chest open. Stacking the left hip over the right, really opening up through the side body as well. Bringing the top arm back down to the mat, coming back through center. Again, maybe shaking it out if you need. Shaking out through the shoulders and the waist to the hips. And then coming down into our child's pose. So let's take a wide legged child's pose. Big toes together, knees out wide. Option to just bring the forehead onto the mat. And then be stacking the fists, placing it underneath the forehead or using a block underneath the forehead. Especially if your hips are a bit tight, maybe your forehead can't quite reach the mat. Otherwise, we can use our bolster again, just placing it in front of the front body, just laying on our bolster, just hugging it in, keeping the shoulders soft, allowing the head to be heavy and rest here, releasing through the upper back and lower back, opening the hips. Taking a few deep breaths here, staying as long as you need. Removing the bolster, and we're coming up to our first down dog. So tucking those toes under, feet around hip width apart, and pressing the hips up towards the sky. Keeping the head nice and heavy. Inhale to bend the knees nice and deep, and then exhale pushing the sit bones up towards the sky. Lengthening the spine, the whole upper body. Keeping those shoulders down away from the ears, shoulder blades drawing down the back. Ten fingers are nice and spread. Keep pressing down through the fingers, the knuckles of the fingers. Maybe micro bend in the elbows if you have a tendency to hyperextend. Walking the feet out one at a time. Really opening up through the hamstrings, the calves. Just left, right, left, right, walking the dog out. Inhale, let's raise the right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. And then exhale, we're going to step it through between the hands. It's okay if it takes a few steps, or maybe you need to use a hand to help it up. Releasing the left knee down into the mat. And if you have sensitive knees, option just roll the mat up, or maybe placing a blanket. Or some a cushion, extra padding underneath the knee. Keeping the front heel directly underneath the knee, hips square towards the front. Maybe keeping the back toes tucked again if your knees are quite sensitive. Inhale, keeping the chest open, shoulders back, and then exhale, sinking a little further down into a half crescent lunge. Keeping the crown of the head drawing up, core still engaged. Belly button drawing back towards the spine. Every exhale sinking a little lower. Bringing the fingers back down into the mat. Maybe grabbing a block and placing it underneath the palm of the hand. Coming into a revolved half crescent lunge. So inhaling the right arm up. Maybe your right hand can just come onto the hip. Every exhale we're drawing that right shoulder back. Coming to a little bit of a twist. 
So if you don't need the block, feel free to just place the hand straight onto the mat. So blocks are always just an option. We're bringing the fingertips back down onto the mat, and then we're starting to extend through that right leg, coming to a half split hamstring stretch. So option to keep the knee nice and bent, protecting the knee. If you feel any pain at all through the back of the knee, just bend the knee. Keeping those toes drawing back towards the face. Option to use blocks on either side of the legs if you can't reach the mat. Chest leading forward and every exhale folding a little further forward. Maybe lengthening the leg a little further. Keeping the hips square. Coming back through our lunge, placing the blocks on either side. Just taking them away. Pushing back up to our downward facing dog. Maybe walking at the dog, shaking at the hips and the legs. Just resting here for a couple of breaths. Feel free to come down to child's pose at any time. Otherwise coming straight to the other side. Inhale, left leg up and then exhale, stepping it through between the hands. Again, maybe using the hand to help it back up between the hands. Maybe grabbing a blanket, keeping the back toes tucked under, protecting the knee. Coming into our half crescent lunge on this side. So again, maybe just coming onto the fingertips, keeping the hips nice and square. Front heel directly underneath the knee. Shoulders back, chest open. And exhale, starting to sink down into the lunge. Maybe placing the hands on the hips. Again, engaging the core, protecting the lower back. So we're not dumping any weight into our lower back here. Keeping the chest open and every exhale sinking a little lower into our lunge. Breathing here. Maybe bringing the right palm straight down onto the mat, preparing for our revolved crescent lunge. Otherwise, option to use the block again underneath the palm. Maybe keeping the top hand on the hip, starting to open the chest, twisting over towards the left hand side. Maybe raising the top arm up. Maybe gazing up towards the top arm if the neck is okay. Otherwise, just keep the gaze down. We exhale, keep sitting down into our lunge. We're still in our crescent lunge here. Coming back through center, coming into our half split. So extending through that front leg, toes drawing back towards the face. Again, option to use blocks on either side of the legs. Leading with the chest, starting to fold forward. Again, option to bend through that front knee. Keeping the belly and the thigh connected. Otherwise, every exhale. Maybe lengthening the leg a little further, drawing those toes back. So the aim is to get the chest over the knee towards the shin, instead of getting our nose towards the knee. Trying to keep the shoulders open. Coming back through our lunge, placing the blocks to one side, pressing back into our downward facing dog. Again, shaking the legs out. Maybe walking the dog again. Releasing any tension. Doing whatever you need, whatever feels good for your body. We're starting to come down to a seated position. So we're coming into our butterfly pose, Badakanasana. Soles of the feet are together, knees opening out wide. So if the hips are a bit tight, we can place blocks on either side or even cushions if you don't have blocks at home. Just placing it underneath the thighs. Allowing the knees to really just relax. Maybe even placing a block or again a cushion or a bolster underneath the sit bones. Just finding the option that allows your knees and the hips to just really relax and open up. Experimenting here. Don't be afraid to use the props. Maybe just staying upright. Otherwise, maybe starting to fold forward. Allowing the head just to be heavy here. This time we're allowing the neck to just release. Allowing the hips to just open up naturally. Sitting back up through center.
really seeing the blocks from the thighs or from underneath the sit bones, bringing the knees back in together. Maybe giving a bit of a shake, giving a bit of a squeeze. And as we're coming straight into our wide legged hamstring stretch. So again, option to keep the block underneath the sit bones if the hamstrings are a bit tight. If you feel any pain in the back of the knees, then just bring the legs in closer towards each other. Keeping the toes drawing back towards the face, protecting the knees, making sure the toes aren't turning inwards, so opening out, feet flexed, heels pushing forwards. Maybe just staying here is enough, staying upright. Making sure we're not sitting on our tailbone, so keeping the pelvis lifted. Maybe bringing our bolster or the cushion out in front, maybe bringing a block, resting on the bolster, and then just resting the forehead onto the bolster and the block. Bit of a passive stretch here. Just really leaning in towards these props, allowing the whole upper body to be heavy and just rest here. Shoulders falling forward. Neck released, back is rounding out. Deep breaths into the hamstrings in the back body. Pushing back up, removing any props in front. Using the hands, gently guiding knees back in towards the center. Again, maybe get big, giving them a big squeeze, hugging them in. Letting the hamstrings just release here. Letting the groins and the hips release. And then we're coming straight into our squat, Malasana. So maybe just keeping the block where it is underneath the sit bones. Opening the knees out wide. Soles of the feet flat against the mat. Toes opening out. Just staying here. If the hips are a bit tight, maybe having to stack two blocks underneath the sit bones just to raise the hips up a little further. Bring the hands in prayer, elbows again pressing on the insides of the knees or the thighs, using them as leverage, really opening those hips up, keeping the chest open, don't let the back, back round out. Keep breathing here. Every exhale, opening the hips up a little further. Again, bringing the knees back into center when you're ready, maybe giving them a big squeeze again. Coming to sit down onto the mat, so removing the block. Legs back out in front, maybe give them a bit of a shake. Preparing to come into our double pigeon. So this is a, can be quite an intense hip opener. We're going to bring the left leg out in front first. The shin parallel towards the top of the mat, foot flexed, and then just stacking the right heel over the left knee. So try to get it as far over as you can, but if hips are a bit tight, then maybe just coming on to towards the inside of the calf. That's okay. Placing some blocks underneath the outside of the right thigh, or maybe on the outside of the left thigh. Just experimenting here with your props. So again, if you don't have blocks at home, maybe just using cushions or blankets, you can roll up the blankets, place it underneath the thighs. Doing whatever you need to support the knees and the hips here. Option to stay upright, otherwise maybe starting to fold forward. Maybe coming onto the forearms or just staying on the palms or the fingertips. It's okay too. Really important to keep both feet flexed though. So protecting the knee, protecting the joints and the muscles around the knees. Coming back up through center, preparing for the other side. So this time right shin parallel to the front of the mat on the bottom. And you can see better on this side. So you can see that the blocks resting underneath the thigh. So it's really just experimenting, finding a place that feels comfortable. And that feels natural and really supports the legs. So that, what that looks like for me might be a bit different for you. So everybody's different. 
just finding the position or the props that you need. Maybe staying upright or maybe folding forward. There's no right or wrong variations or options. Just doing whatever feels best for your body. Maybe you can't fold forward yet, that's okay. Maybe exhale, releasing the hips a little further. Maybe able to fold forward a little further. Starting to sit back up through centre, moving any props. And again, squeezing those in towards the chest. Maybe shaking the ankles out, stretching, flexing the feet. Your legs a bit of a shake maybe. And then we're just going to lay back and come to rest, hugging the knees in towards the chest, rocking left and right, massaging the spine. Now, you can start to find a comfortable chair. You can find a yoga mat or another cushion, or our yoga mat. For us, our yoga mat is on the floor. Put the foot down. Let your shoulders relax and the back of your neck soften. Bend your shoulders and relax your shoulders or your back of your neck. 膊頭開始放鬆，個脊椎開始向上拉，頭頂向上拉，開始將我哋嘅呼吸拉長，你開始練我哋嘅圓仔 breath。我慢慢可以將個瑜伽枕或者 cushion 拎開先，坐喺我哋兩邊坐骨上高，將我哋右邊膝頭哥攬入鼻心口度，腳板可以搭過嚟我哋左邊大腿嘅外側，左腳腳板有力嘅腳趾反翻過嚟向我哋塊面，向後拉，我哋每次吸氣就咁將個膝頭哥攬入嚟嘅心口。可以將我哋左邊腳踭翻過嚟嚟到我哋個坐骨，盡量保持住兩邊坐骨都係貼住我哋張脊嘅。右手可以放喺後面，吸氣嘅時候左手拉長，跟住呼氣。我哋用我哋左邊手踭托住我哋嘅大髀嘅外側，做一個 twist 嘅動作，開始向右邊望，轉身，膊頭保持住放鬆。我吸氣，頭翻翻嚟中間，跟住呼氣，身體翻翻嚟中間。好，腳唔好喐，慢慢可以做一個少少一個轉身嘅動作，嚟到另外一邊。如果頭先嗰個 twist 嘅動作難度太高嘅話，唔緊要，腳可以就咁翻翻嚟中間，跟住前，再腳搭翻去右邊大腿嘅外側，腳板貼住我哋張脊。可能右腳可以翹過嚟，腳踭靠近我呢個坐骨、hip 位，但係盡量保持住兩邊坐骨都係貼住張脊嘅。左手手指輕輕扶住張脊，吸氣，右手可以舉起，跟住呼氣。右邊手踭托住我哋大髀嘅外側，開始向左邊轉身 twist， 頭一直望住左邊膊頭，膊頭條頸保持放鬆。每次呼氣可以再 twist 轉少少，繼續轉身，吸氣頭翻翻嚟中間，跟住呼氣，身體翻翻嚟中間，腳又可以翻翻嚟前面喺度鬆一鬆，準備嚟到我哋個 table top， 即係個跪坐咁樣，手腕喺正個膊頭下面，膝頭哥喺正個胯位下面。十隻手指擘大，力量平均放喺我哋手指度，直接嚟到我哋个 cat and cow 吸气嘅时候，心口打开，跟住呼气，好似我哋只猫 cat pose 背脊拱起，吸气，心口打开，左骨向上推，条颈拉长，跟住呼气，眼睛望住肚脐，背脊拱起，好似只猫只伸懒腰咁样
，吸气，心口打开，呼气有少少个 U 字形，有个弯位，跟住呼气。佢隻咗一隻向上拉，眼睛望住肚脐，雙手推開我哋張隻。我仲有三次吸氣，我喺度眯埋眼，呼氣。佢隻咗向上拉，好似帶啲動力到我哋條脊椎。每一次嘅呼吸，都係同我哋啲動作一齊連接埋一齊。我做完三次之後，可以翻翻嚟中間喺度鬆一鬆。下次吸气可以将到你只右脚直接举起，脚踭直向后推，所以脚趾直向前拉，头顶同埋后面嘅脚踭系一条直线嘅，肚脐一直向后拉，锁住我哋嗰啲腹肌，呢个核心力量 core strength， 直接嚟到你嘅 side plank， 所以右边脚板可以放喺我哋张脊上高，左手手腕起至我膊头下面嘅。右手可以喺度叉腰，左边小腿可以喺度打开，可以帮助我哋个平衡力嘅。可能右手可以举起，每次呼气，我哋再将我哋右边膊头向后拉，个心喺度打开，右边胯位都向后拉，你个 side plank， 慢慢翻翻嚟中间喺度呼气，喺度松一松，准备嚟到另外一边。吸气，左脚直接举起，脚踭一直向后推，又系记住锁住我哋嗰个 core strength， 保护住条腰、头顶同埋后面个脚踭向反方向咁拉长。跟住呼气，可以将你哋左边脚板放低起，将脊上高，又系小腿可以打开，帮助你个平衡力。右手手掌起正个膊头下面，左手可以叉腰。开始将我哋左边 hip 位搭上嚟，左边膊头向后拉，可能左手可以举起。个 side plank 开始将我哋嘅心口前身喺度打开，膊头打开。慢慢呼气嘅时候可以翻翻嚟中间，又可以喺你个 table top 度松一松。跟住準備嚟到我哋個 child's pose， 腳趾弓合埋一齊，膝頭哥可以擘大，同張脊一樣咁闊，額頭放低喺張脊上高。所以如果跨位比較緊嘅話咧，可以將我哋有個拳頭搭起啦，放喺個額頭下面，或者可以用我哋個 block 個瑜伽磚放喺個額頭下面，將個頭抬高少少，或者都可以用我哋個 cushion 或者個瑜伽枕放喺我哋。个心口、肚前面，所以成个前身、上半身都好重，就挨喺我哋个 block 或者我哋个 bolster 瑜伽枕上高，膊头可以放松，头放松，开始打开你个胯位、背部、后腰。準備好時候，慢慢可以移開我哋啲 props 啦，啲枕，慢慢嚟到我哋今日第一個 down dog， downward facing dog， 腳大概同我哋個胯位一樣咁闊，頭全程都保持住好鬆，吸氣可以將個膝頭哥彎曲，跟住每一次呼氣再將個下盤向上推，左腳向上推，感覺到個背脊喺度打開，條脊椎好似每一似中間都有空間嘅，我哋嗰啲 space 都打開拉長，膊頭放鬆。如果平時發覺可能會鎖住我哋嘅手踭嘅話咧，就保持個手踭係係有輕微嘅彎曲，十隻手指擘大，保護住啲手腕，一步一步咁樣將個 down dog 喺度鬆開。好，吸起我哋將只右脚举起 ，three legged dog， 跟住呼气，右脚可以搭向双手中间，所以可能需要几步先嚟到，可能需要用只手嚟帮助，唔紧要。轻轻将左边膝头哥放低喺张脊上高，所以如果膝头哥会有啲痛嘅话咧，可以将我哋张脊卷起咯，或者可以用张毡或者一个 cushion 
垫住喺我哋个膝头哥下面。就冇咁硬，后面啲脚趾保持住反住啦，又系保护住嘅手头哥，双手可以叉腰，前面嘅脚踭系喺整个手头哥下面嘅，每次呼气，它可以再坐低少少，嚟到我哋个 lunge half crescent lunge， 打开我哋个胯位，记住我哋嗰个 core strength 喺度锁住，保护住条腰。好，慢慢可以将我哋左边手掌放低喺张脊上高。如果个黑跨位比较紧嘅话咧，可以用一个 block， 你个瑜伽砖放喺个手掌下面嘅，手喺整个膊头下面，吸气可以将我哋只右手举起，或者可能右手可以叉腰，右边膊头一直向后拉，个心口一直喺度打开，膊头打开 ，revolve tough crescent lunge。慢慢翻翻嚟中间，准备嚟到我哋个 half splits， 所以右脚可以开始伸直，脚趾反翻过嚟向我哋块面咁向后拉。如果 hamstring 位比较紧嘅话咧，可以用两个 block 又系喺我哋脚左右边啦，手扶住两个 block， 膝头哥可以弯曲，个心口大前，可能手可以继续向前行。跟住每次呼气，可能可以继续向前弯。所以喺度个重点唔系要将我哋个鼻拉向我哋个膝头哥，而系将个心口拉向我哋个小腿嘅前侧。所以保持住个心口打开，膊头放松。我翻翻嚟我哋个 lunge， 吸气嘅时候右脚可以搭翻去后面，跟住呼气 downward facing dog， 又可以喺度松一松，一步一步咁样将个 down dog 松开。感觉下左右边个跨位有啲咩唔同嘅感觉？准备做另外一边，吸气，左脚可以举起 three legged dog， 跟住呼气，左脚搭喺双手中间，又系可能需要用只手帮助，唔紧要，可以用我哋个 cushion 或者将肩垫住我哋个膝头哥，保持住后面嗰啲脚趾反过嚟，可以系。可能就咁扭起啲手指度，喺度叫 half crescent lunge， 保持住前面嘅脚踭喺整个膝头哥下面。可能双手可以叉腰，记住个肚脐一直向后拉，腹肌喺度收紧，保护住条腰，头顶向上拉，条腰左右边都一直拉长，跟住呼气，但可唔可以再坐低少少，沉低少少，打开你个胯位。可能右手手掌可以嚟到张脊上高，或者可以用我哋个 block 放喺个手掌下面，开始嚟到我哋个 twist 嘅动作。左手可以保持住叉腰，或者可能可以举起，手指一直向上拉。每次呼气，左边膊头一直向后拉，再将个心口膊头打开少少，跟住呼气嘅，记住保持住我哋个 lunge 嘅动作。Revolve half crescent lunge， 慢慢翻翻嚟中间，跟住呼气可以将我哋左脚伸直，又系啲脚趾一直向后拉，记住膝头哥可以弯曲，特别系如果感觉到个膝头哥后面会扯住会痛嘅话，肚可以贴住大髀，可以用我哋个 block 扶住我哋啲 block， 每一次呼气睇下。向前少少，再向前弯少少，我哋个心口可以靠近我哋个膝头哥，慢慢翻翻嚟我哋个 lunge， 可以移开啲 block， 吸气可以将只左脚打翻去后面，跟住呼气又翻翻嚟我哋嘅 downward facing dog， 又可以喺度松一松，又喺度感觉下左右边有啲咩唔同嘅感觉。好，跟住我哋会准备落嚟，坐低喺我哋两边坐骨，嚟到我哋个 butterfly pose， b u t t e r c o n a s a n a 脚板可以合埋一齐，膝头哥打开。所以如果个跨位比较紧嘅话咧，可以将我哋个 block 
或者一个 cushion， 或者卷起咗个毛巾，摄起我哋个大髀下面嘅，或者可以将我哋个 block 放喺一个坐骨下面，将个下盘提高。最紧要系揾一个最适合自己嘅 option 啦，唔一定要用呢啲 props 嘅。不过我哋呢个动作，我哋最紧要系想膝头哥同埋个胯位可以放松。都利用緊我哋膝頭哥個重量，你自然打開你個胯位，盡量唔好夾眼眉，可以留喺度，或者可能可以開始向前彎，個頭可以放鬆，膊頭放鬆，可能每一次呼氣嘅時候，可以再繼續向前彎。每一次吸气，可以开始坐翻起身，慢慢可以移开我哋啲 block， 可以将两边膝头哥合埋一齐喺度松一松，跟住准备嚟到我哋个 wide legged hamstring stretch， 呢个 wide legged forward fold。所以喺度，如果膝头哥后面会扯住或者痛嘅话咧。可以將雙腳唔好埋到咁大，可以搭返埋少少嘅。最緊要呢係一直保持住我哋啲腳趾向後拉，反返過嚟，保護住啲膝頭哥。所以喺呢度見到呢，我將咗個 block 放咗喺我哋我個下盤下面啦，係將個下盤抬高，咁個 hand string 位就唔會扯得太咁勁啦。我可以將一個 bolster 呢個瑜伽枕放喺前面，可以將個 block。放起个 box 上高，晾起我哋个额头下面，可能就咁留喺度。或者如果 hip 酸位 OK 嘅话，可以将个 box 摆平，又系晾喺个 box 度。额头晾喺个 box 个 box 度或者个 block 上高，膊头自然向前，上半身都好重。利用紧我哋呢一个 cushion 或者我哋嗰啲 block 嚟 support 住我哋嘅上半身，呢个我哋叫个 passive stretch。利用紧我哋嘅身体本身嘅重量嚟打开我哋个 hamstring 位个大腿嘅后侧，慢慢可以开始坐翻起身，可以将我哋呢啲 props 移开。双手可以放喺个膝头哥下面，用双手帮助啲膝头哥揽翻入嚟，中间可以喺度松一松，呢个胯位喺度放松一阵。好，跟住嚟到另外一个打开我哋个胯位嘅动作 ，Malasana， 我哋个 Yogi Squat， 所以保持住坐喺我哋个 block 上高。如果唔需要个 block 嘅话，可以将佢移开嘅，会将我哋个膝头哥擘大。脚板放啊系平嘅，贴住我哋张脚啦，双手合掌喺心口前面，跟住手踭嚟到你嘅膝头哥或者个大腿嘅内侧，好似用啲手踭好似撑开我哋嘅膝头哥咁，将个胯位喺度打开。如果胯位比较紧嘅话咧，可能要将两个 block 放喺个下盘下面，先坐喺两个 block 上高。尽量保持住个膊头放松，慢慢膝头哥可以又搭翻入嚟中间，又可以喺度松一松，跟住可以开个 block， 直接坐喺我哋张脊上高，脚可以翻翻嚟前面喺度松一松，准备嚟到我哋个 double pigeon pose， 所以呢个系比较强啲个。跨位動作，同埋同時可以打開你個臀部啦，同埋個大腿嘅內同外側嘅，會將我哋左腳小腿咧，同我哋將只前面係平排嘅，跟住將我哋右邊腳踭搭過嚟，我哋左邊膝頭哥上高，所以儘量將我哋左右腳嘅小腿係可以一條直線咁樣。搭正喺上高嘅，可能需要用啲 block 嚟放喺我哋嘅大腿嘅外側，晾住我哋啲膝頭哥或者大腿
佢盡量睇下可唔可以將我哋有邊個爭答過我哋個實力過。如果唔得嘅話，可能要將個腳爭褪後少少。所以陣間做另外一邊可能會睇得比較清楚啲。不過雙腳盡量係保持住一個三角形咁嘅，可能可以向前彎。膊头放松，每次呼气，睇下个胯位可唔可以再打开少少，臀部打开少少，可以坐翻起身，准备做另外一边。所以今次喺度可以睇到，将我哋右脚放喺下面啦，左脚脚踭搭过嚟我哋个膝头嗰度，可以将个 block 放喺我哋个大腿嘅外侧，咁晾住。其实每个人嘅身体都唔同嘅，所以喺度我个 block 放喺度，可能对我嚟讲系舒服，但可能对你嚟讲都系好唔自然，可能硬住，或者可能都系比较紧。最紧要揾翻最适合自己嘅 option。记住而家都系冇乜啱定错嘅，因为每,每一个人嘅身体都唔同。睇下每一次呼气可唔可以再。向前弯少少，保持住膊头放松，胯位放松，慢慢可以开始坐翻起身，翻翻嚟中间，我哋拧开我哋所有 prop， 用啲瑜伽砖、瑜伽枕，将两边膝头哥揽入嚟心口度，可以喺度松一松，跟住准备落嚟休息，可以瞓低。两边膝头哥揽入你心口度，就咁向左右左右咁样摇，喺度松一松休息。